Hi guys, it's Julie. Welcome to my channel. I apologize. I, I am sick with a cold, but I wanted to get this October favorites video out. I did not do a um, September because I really had not purchased anything new or discovered anything that I already had purchased in my beauty cabinet that I was really crazy about. So I wanted to wait so until I had a group of things to show you for October. So I hope everyone had a wonderful Halloween. I um, was sick, so I didn't do anything. I um, stayed at home and watched a scary movie. I didn't want to um, infect all the kids in the neighborhood, so I left a bowl of candy on the stoop, and I put a, a you know a sign in there to take one. But you know, like I had one group of kids that took the first group of kids. They emptied the bowl into their um, bags and ran away so I mean I think I'm just stupid to think that I could trust little kids to control themselves around candy because I can't even control myself so anyway that was my Halloween but I hope you had a um, better Halloween um, I wanted to do some costume tutorials but I just didn't get to it I'm so busy but let's get started enough of me rambling um, you'll see my dogs in the background if you don't know my, if you haven't watched my channel before, that's Priscilla. She's chilling in the background. She's cold because it's cold today in Georgia. But, all right, so I think I showed you guys before, one of my favorites was um, 365 brand facial cleaner. And this I get at Whole Foods. And I will tell you that this is cheaper, even when it's not on sale, it's cheaper than Cetaphil. Um, and it's really like the same size package. It's cheaper than Cetaphil at Walmart. Um, so it's, if you can get it on sale, it's like $4.90. It's super cheap. And it doesn't irritate your skin. It doesn't smell um, funny. And I just trust things that Whole Food makes. So anyway, I was looking for a lotion for my face that I could use every day but, um, going to work underneath my sunblock. And... The prices, even in Walmart, they want like $13, $14 for facial moisturizer, and they have parabens in it. I'm like, these people are crazy. They're smoking crack. I am not paying $14 for face lotion. So I was using body lotion, and it made me break out. So I, I went ahead and purchased this 365 moisturizing lotion. And this is for all skin types, lightweight, non-greasy, fragrance-free a non-comedogenetic, I don't know what, um, I don't know how to say that, but it, um, it's just, it goes on your skin so easy, it absorbs in your skin so easy, and it's not greasy, it doesn't make you look greasy, um, I just love it, and it moisturizes, so, and I just, I don't like putting sunblock right on my skin, I like to have a moisturizer in between, especially with the heat on, because my skin gets dry, so this too, I paid $4.90 for this, it was on sale, so you can't beat that, and it's huge. It's going to last me like six months. So check that out at Whole Foods. Um, excuse me. Next, um, next thing I've been loving this month, and I really have not used another eyeshadow since I picked this up, is the um, the Bomb New Ta New Tude Palette. And I got this on Haltlook.com for half off. It was 50% off. It was che super cheap. There's no parabens in the eyeshadows, and it's just, the eyeshadows are so beautiful, and they're so soft, and, and the color payoff is amazing. It just, it's just a great palette. I, I have it on now. Um, let me just show you what I have on now. But I just love this. I just, I'm, the Balm has become my favorite. That and MAC are my favorite makeup brands, and just if you this has been on hot look more than once it goes on sale and it's 50% off um, so I can uh, I don't remember how much I paid for it it was maybe it was under $20 I know that so how can you go wrong and compared this to the Urban Decay um, palettes they have parabens in them and they're like $55 so this is definitely a budget friendly alternative and it's um, safe so check that out um, I will put hot, li hot 
look.com's link below if you don't understand what I'm saying because I don't understand what I'm saying so I'll put that down below for you to check it out and you just have to watch it's just a flash sale um, website and they have a lot of makeup on there so it's definitely worth checking out um, my next favorites for October is these are bedellium I don't know how to say this bedellium tool brushes and I had an eye brush, um, blending brush on one of my favorites before, but this is their face brushes and I get them on Amazon. They are completely affordable if you're comparing them to MAC brushes. They're incredibly soft, high quality brushes and I completely recommend them. Um, I just, if you're looking to invest in good brushes and you don't wanna spend an enormous amount of money, check these out on Amazon. And I'll just show you the writing so you could see the name. Bedellium tools. So the first one, this is a foundation brush. This came in a, in a package. This is the foundation brush. So it's dirty. I'm sorry. I use this for my foundation. This is another foundation brush. It's just smaller. And I like to use this underneath my eyes with my concealer. They also, um, this one I have not used much. This I use more for touch-ups around my nose with concealers. Um, so this is just a nice concealer brush. And then this one's a longer um, wisp brush. I use this for my um, blush or bronzer. It's not my favorite out of the pack, but um, I do use it. And these are just so soft. They don't fall, the, the hairs don't fall out. It's, they're high quality brushes, so I definitely recommend checking these out because they're affordable. Next is, I have discovered, and I should have discovered this earlier, but I never bought purchased them. This is these are the Mac Sheer Tone. This is a Mac Sheer Tone blush, and I've never bought their Sheer Tone blushes. I'm a huge Mac blush fan, but I always strayed away from the Sheer Tone. I don't know why because they are amazing. And this one is Koi Girl, and the reason why it's amazing, I have it on now. The reason why it just looks so natural. It. It stays on all day. I, I thought, well, sheer tone is not going to stay on all day and it's going to disappear. No. It stays on all day and it just gives you the most amazing natural look. So check out. They have so many colors available in their sheer tone um, formula. So check them out. Um, check them out online and see um, you know, if there's a color that you're interested in. But simply just amazing and they look just so natural especially for the winter um, if you want the more natural look and you don't want to look like cake on makeup um, next I have a couple of mis um, nail polishes for the fall I wanted to show you that I'm loving the first one I actually have um, on my nails and this is Essie's Sex Sexy Divine and I am a huge Essie fan. This is my favorite nail polish. If you watch my channel, you know. Um, so this is Gorge. Gorgeous. It's a purplish. Oh, I get so many compliments. I've even had men ask me, wow, what is that on your nails? It's so unique. And so I get compliments on it every day. So completely recommend that for the fall. The next one is I'm absolutely in love with is Big Spender by Essie. And this is a plum, absolutely gorgeous. Plum for the fall, it's the hot color for fall for your lips um, and it goes amazing with my blush. So if you have any plum lipsticks or plum blushes, this is the color for you. Um, next one is called Bahama Mama and this one is similar. I'll, I'll hold up um, Big Spender for you just to compare. But Bahama Mama is a little bit darker and has more of a reddish tone. But again, perfect for fall, beautiful for fall. Um, loving that. Um, and the next thing I want to show you for the fall, because <laughs> my channel is, I do cooking and makeup, so I do like cooking. So really just a um, broad spectrum of videos you'll see from me. But since it's fall, I have fallen in love with spaghetti squash and I know people are intimidated by squash if you cook even if you cook you're like I'm not touching that squash I don't know what it is I don't know how to open it um, I am going to <coughs> excuse me 
I'm going to post a video this week on how to cook spaghetti squash. It is super, super easy. I'll try to get the video up tomorrow. Um, but the reason why I love it, I do, I am on a low glycemic diet, or I should say it's a way of life. I don't just diet, but um, I don't like to spike my blood sugar because it makes you fat. It makes you gain, have gain fat in your midsection and, ov and overall your whole body. But um, this is low carb. So this is a great alternative to, for spaghetti. And I love it. It's just, um, it's not going to replace spaghetti. It's not spaghetti, but for a great alternative, it is amazing. It's super easy to cook. So easy, you're going to laugh how easy it is to cook. Go get it. Um, don't be intimidated by it. It's not hard to cut open. You don't need a, a chainsaw. So um, check that out. Spaghetti squash. Um, you want to look for something that's firm and um, has a gr nice yellow tone and no bruising. Um, but and this little thing will make a lot of spaghetti squash, so you'll be eating it all week. Next for for October, um, if you I do have a video up with a tutorial with this. This is the Sea-Doo Revolution Pro Clipless Curling Iron, and this is the one inch, and I'm absolutely in love with it. I did my hair with it today. Super easy. Takes 10 minutes to do my hair. This literally takes. 30 seconds, if not less, to heat up to get hot. It heats up amazingly fast. Um, I will link my my tutorial and my full review video below if you'd like to learn more about it. But it's just a, it's just an amazing tool. It has a nice swivel cord. Um, it just I can't speak highly enough of this, and I'm just in love with Sidu um, tools, hair tools. They're just amazing. Um, it is incredibly light, like. I, I mean, it's just so comfortable to use. Very excited, but check out my, my tutorial video with it and um, to learn more about it. Next, I've been meaning to tell you guys about this in my favorites, but I keep forgetting. This is Nicole um, OPI Drying Drops, and I got this at um, Walmart, but I've also seen it in Ulta. So this is just after you put your top coat on your nails, you drip this on and it makes it dry really quickly. Um, this was so affordable and I actually had a coupon. It was super affordable um, and it works just as well as the professional brands. I mean, this is Nicole by OPI. It's not the OPI brand um, top of the line, but it works amazingly well. So I completely recommend this if you smudge your nails all the time like I do. Um, and then I just wanted to tell you guys about my mascara routine this month. I am using uh, Maybelline Colossal. I use this first and then I put a second coat. I use, I'm using their Mega Plush. These are both in black. I just find the Colossal helps separate better than the Mega Plush, but the Mega Plush adds more volume. So I think matching these two together is a win-win um, for everyday mascara. Um, <clears throat> if I'm going out like something, a special event, I use my uh, Dior Extas, but this is my everyday go-to volumizing, lengthening mascara routine, so check that out. Um, so that's it guys. I've been talking for way too long and so I'm going to shut up and my throat is killing me so um, I hope you enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching and subscribing I appreciate you all and if you have any questions please ask I'm happy to answer them for you okay thanks guys bye bye